Hi everyone, uh, I got uh, a new paper for you that I just wrote. It's about how to increase momentum or charge in the system. And uh, you can find it uh, if you go to my Google site. paper that is uh, updated to version 2 now, so go check that out if you're interested. Anyway, uh, it's uh, really simple. If you have a small mass that collides elastically with a bigger mass, so that the smaller mass will bounce back and thus the velocity will change sign, the sum of the absolute of the momentum in the system will increase. And I will show you an example here. If we have a bigger mass here uh, of uh, 3 kilos with a zero velocity and a smaller one with uh, one, uh, 2 kilograms with uh, 1 meter per second as velocity, um, when they collide, just in the middle of the collision, <laughs> they will have a velocity of 0 0.4 meter per second. And then, since it's elastic, uh, mass 1 will bounce back, and mass 2 will uh, continue. And uh, here you'll see that the sum of the momentum is um, unchanged but the sum of the absolute of the momentum has increased. And that's uh, quite interesting. And we can do that with charge, with the two capacitors and uh, inductor. And here is a graph of what happens with the charges. Uh, here we have a constant charge of the system, which is the sum of the charges, but this one is the sum of the absolute of the charges. And as soon as the charge of uh, the smaller capacitor goes below zero, it goes up. Okay. And then I, uh, I do repeated collisions and have some thoughts about that and uh, what happens with, uh, with um, momentum and charge in the system. If you do that, and uh, yeah, check it out. It's, uh, I think it's uh, cool. Uh, I, it doesn't seem that you were, you were taught this in any school, so check it out.